Today on Toy Shoes, we are going full on Goongala. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shoes here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we are totally checking out the brand new Walmart exclusive NECA Toys' Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the movie. This is their ultimate Casey Jones action figure, and really nice photos of the figure all over the box, of course, especially on the back. Ninja Turtles, Casey Jones, Elias Cotius, right? That's why his head portrait's in this box now, because he finally was like, yeah, let's totally do an action figure, because Judith Hogue, I mean, she pretty much, I think, handled the whole sitch, and NECA was like, heck yeah, we want to do it, and bingo, bango, now we got an ultimate Casey Jones, and here is everyone involved with the creation of this figure, thank you for that, and here's the barcode as well, like I said, starting to hit Walmart store shelves now so this is going to be fun sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot gungala cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new casey jones ultimate casey jones from the teenage mutant Ninja turtles the movie by neca toys and of course here is everything taken out of the packaging and it means ultimate when they say ultimate you get a bevy of hands you get weapons melee weapons all kinds of things to bust your heads open it's pretty dang cool you got a couple head portraits as well but speaking of which this is my favorite accessory it's just the casey jones mask because he can hold it and it looks great and i love this now you do get the actor's head elias cotillas it looks great i think they nailed it on the fact that they took his head portrait and made it into an action figure and i love that the yes mask you can kind of make it so yeah he's kind of pulling it off it doesn't fit over his head but you get the idea and it's rad you get a ton of different hands you got punching hands and pointing hands and weapon holding hands and just hands painted nicely for days everything is really well done and then you get all the different weapons specifically like a hockey stick and it's got the writing on it and it looks like wood and it's got the tape and the bandages all over it and then you got the yes sir man i have another right there paddle and <laughs> you got another hockey stick and you got the driver and everything else like it's well done and it's a lot of fun to get these specific types plus you get the little golf bag holder which he wears and it's done nice like a really old fascist type one and you put every single weapon in there and that is what is so cool including two melee bats right and they're all wrapped and ready to go please tell me you didn't pay money for this right but the best part is, is they can also fit in there well. Now you kind of have to jumble things around, but for the most part, yes. They all fit perfectly. Casey Jones himself, he looks great. Now I'll say this again, if you got the previous two-pack with the trench coat Raphael, it's the same exact Casey Jones with this particular type of mask. The paint is really nice all over him. There's a couple instances which we'll go over where it's kind of missing paint, which I think it should have it, but the head switch nice, and I think it looks like the actor. So it is nicely done. The articulation works well. Much like NECA Toys has been recently, and just to point this out, right here, this is what I'm talking about with the paint missing. You can see the flesh tone of the plastic instead of white paint. It's kind of like, okay, I don't want the paint to flag, but then you see it. Eh, I guess it's okay for what it is. He's got single jointed elbows. They spin at the elbow. The wrists rock. You can see the shirt. The shirt's got all kinds of weathering and stains all over it. He's got his sweatpants. He'll kick out. He'll do all the kind of stuff you'd expect the Casey Jones could do. Now, he does have single jointed knees. Double jointed would have been nice, but he does kind of differ with the other release, which you'll look at in the elbows. Again, right here on the sock, I feel like it's missing paint, but it's the same thing as the other two pack release but overall it's a nice looking casey jones now when you put all the weapons and everything on him that's where this figure comes to life it's like a little mini elias figure on your shelf and that is what neca excels at the ninja turtles look great and now you got a really cool unmasked casey jones now the real difference between the way 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 back version of the 2020 casey jones to this new 2021 ultimate casey jones is that the original had double jointed elbows whereas this one does not other than that the paint's the same the figure is largely the same it's just the fact of the matter of do you want a masked or an unmasked version of casey jones Raphael, having him paired up with the ninja turtles now just kind of brings some kind of shelf magic where i can't describe it it's just a lot of fun plus the alternate heads for Raphael and the turtles look fantastic if you want to go the old retro playmates route Here's my original 
Casey Jones that I bought at KB Toys years ago. Years and years. I remember that. I went to dinner and picked him up, and he's still in good shape. I remember you saying something about oops. So that's really going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new NECA Toys' Ultimate Casey Jones from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, the original, the best one. Come on, let's be honest. There are a couple nitpicks here and there with, let's say, missing paint. Eh, okay. I think the actor's head matches perfectly. I think they did a great job with that. I think that makes a lot of fans happy to get an unmasked version. But because I got two now, one can be unmasked and one can be masked because it's pretty much the exact same figure. I adore the weapons. I love all the choices. That is what you should be getting with an Ultimate Casey Jones. It's fantastic. All the hands, everything else. If you didn't get the prior two-pack, I think you'll be very happy. If you did, do you really need a new Casey Jones? It's up to you. Completist, yes. But if you're just kind of the casual collector, I would say, yeah, it could be a pass. But you're missing out on a really nice figure. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this new Ultimate Casey Jones. Is it for you? Will you be grabbing? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Casey Jones. And thank you again to NECA Toys for sending this out to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, have a fantastic week. Live it up. Have a great one. And if there's time, yeah, head out to Walmart and hopefully you can find one of these Casey Jones. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.